everybody this is lego my lego 920 here so today i am going to be breaking down two movie trailers so i am going to be uh breaking the trailer on guardians of the galaxy volume 3 and i'm going to be breaking down the trailer on indiana jones 5 and of course, there's been a title revealed for the fifth installment. All right, for the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 trailer. So we start off where uh, Pierre and the rest of the Guardians are in uh, comic, like, accurate suits. And it's where they land onto a city, but with these uh, animals, like goats and stuff. They're, they ended up in a plant that's almost like Earth. <laughs> and you can see where Pierre is telling them that they come in peace. But yeah, then when there was a little girl like that looks like a lemur that threw a ball at Drax... You can see Drax decide to throw the ball at at the little girl back. Then everyone decide to throw basketballs at him. Yeah, <laughs> pretty funny. <laughs> yeah. And there's Peter right there. And you see that, that, um, uh, weasel, well, a whole bunch of them, that, that could be Rocket as, like, a baby raccoon. Well, this is supposed to end Rocket's story arc. Pretty much most of the guys the galaxy. And we got, uh, I'm guessing the Guardians of the Galaxy in these rainbow colored space suits. And here's Gamora right here holding a photo. And we got Rocket, and that's Groot. By the way, we do see that version of Groot in the holiday special of Guardians of the Galaxy. And there's the rest of the Guardians, even Kraglin, that dog. But remember, there could be some fake scenes, you know, like where they use CGI. And who knows what this could be over here. And who this person could be. Or whoever that guy is. I doubt that's Nick Fury because I don't think uh, Nick, Nick Fury is going to be in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. And we got a shot of Gamora over here in the trailer. Especially where they reunite with Gamora. It looks like uh, Drax got shot. There might be scenes that I could be missing or what. To face the music. That means we could get the... We could be getting a 80s music. Like, there was an 80s song playing in the trailer. I do recognize it, and I've heard it before. And you can see uh, Peter and Groot are running off from, uh, 
from the ship over here that crashed. There's Nebula. And whatever's going on here. Now the person that uh, Rocket could be hugging could be Lila. Because Lila was, of course, uh, Rocket's crush. And we got Adam Warlock right here, our first look. Here's all the Guardians of the Galaxy over here. There's Rocket. Yeah. Oh, come on. I want to show this scene. Yeah, here's this scene right here. With more arms coming out of Groot. <laughs> There's Drax. It's where Drax wants to like kill someone. And Pierre's like, no. Yeah. But yeah, I cannot wait to see uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Alright, now I'm going to go break down the, the trailer for the fifth Indiana Jones movie. All right, so Indiana Jones 5, the title is officially revealed to be called Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. But yeah, I am also excited to see this. So here I am going to break down this trailer. So we got a camel over, over there. And you can see Indy, Indy like uh, hopped onto that vehicle right here, probably fighting a lot of enemies, you know, like he usually done in the first four films. And we got someone over here on a motorcycle. And we got a town over here. That Indy's at right here. And you can see there's some people underwater over here. So yeah, it looks like they're searching for something like some clues or something. And you can see... Uh, Indiana Jones is, of course, teaching some uh, students in a huge uh, college room with a projector. Because I know how Indy attended to teach students some archaeology stuff, you know, like Neolithic and, and all sorts of treasures, you know. Because I know how Indiana Jones does archaeology. Yep, and another scene of Indy right here in the college room. And you can see some people searching on a bridge over some cave area with a river or something. Yeah, and there's Indy over there with the soldiers. Uh, you notice how Indiana Jones and the Raiders of the Lost Ark and, of course, the Last Crusade had some Nazi fighting? Well, this one's going to include Nazi fighting. And uh, with the soldiers over here, like, 
So you can see that the Dial of Destiny is going to take place in a war with Germany. Of course, there's going to be some unrealistic things going on and happening in the fifth one, like with the with the first four. And you can see it looks like Indy's on a motorcycle, chasing a plane. And there's Indy over here. What looks to be some store in a storage area or something. Or a museum. And we got a scene of Indy over here. What looks to be reuniting with Sala. Because I know Sala was Indy's friend and partner in Raiders of the Lost Ark. And of course, The Last Crusade. But yeah, it looked to be an airport or something. Yep. And you can see Indy looks to be in some kind of temple or something with the statue. But yeah, it's going to be exciting to see Indy and Sala reunite. It looks like Indy and that person, I think, is played by Toby Jones, is going to be facing against an enemy on top of a train. If you don't know who Toby Jones in, is, you might recognize him from The Hunger Games, Captain America, and I know he was in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Which, of course, played the person at the auction of who wants to buy the dinosaurs. And we got this chick right there, played by Fio Weller, which could take on for Indiana Jones's place on adventure, you know, as what people theorize. And you can see where they... Uh, we have a flashback scene over here where they use uh, Indiana Jones for CGI where Harrison Ford's pretty young, you know. And some people over here. And here's some a scene of the battle going on. And there's Indiana Jones right here in a train. And here's this soldier right there, who I don't know, maybe the main villain of the film. It looks like Indiana Jones has found something in that temple from that statue. And it looks like that statue is a uh, either no act no never mind. There's the the chick right there in Indy with the flashlights in that temple. And whatever's over here. And you can see uh, Indy's on a horse in a parade in the town he's in. And there's that guy on the motorcycle. Yeah. And there's Indy's hat. With the architecture stuff with all the maps and the tools. Yeah, with the blast right there. And with the chick and Indy right there. By the way, I would recommend you watch the first four Indiana Jones movies. So you can get ready for the fifth one. Because... The Indiana Jones trilogy has been one of my favorites. 
I really like the Indiana Jones trilogy. Like, I've watched the whole trilogy so many times. You should go watch them. And we got a blast over here. And looks to be ending Indy is like fighting someone at during the parade, you know. You know how Indiana Jones is a good fighter. But yeah, I can tell he's a baddie right there, that guy. And a lot going on with so much chaos. Brink of destruction at the battle. And in the fighting. We got the chick over here. Come on, I want to show. I got to show something. I'm trying to show what that statue underwater. But anyway, I'm just going to skip on. And you can see Indy is using his foot, you know, when he knocks over the guns. Like, you know what Indy usually does during fights. And yeah, Indiana Jones is a likable character. Yeah. You can see what's going on here. And it looks like they're in some kind of subway or something. And it looks like Indy uh, is on the horse in inside the subway with the train tracks. And what's going on over here with the train coming. But yeah, I cannot wait to see Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. And you can see, uh, you, you notice when that guy right there asked her who he, who he is? Yeah. Well, he did say that he's her godfather. And of course, everyone decided to bring their, well, first Indy throws something. But you can see a lot going on. Every everybody's walking back and pull pulling out their guns, and then of course Indy would start running. You know what usually happens in the first four. But again, I recommend you go watch them. All right, Indiana Jones. They're all good movies. They're all good. And I do like Harrison Ford. He is one of my favorite actors from when he not only played Indiana Jones, but also uh, Han Solo from Star Wars. I do enjoy some other classic films that Harrison Ford has been in back in the 70s and 80s and the 90s, like American Graffiti, Force 10, Blade Runner, The Witness, The Working Girl... Regarding Henry, The Fugitive, and some newer films like from the early 2000s and the 2010s that I enjoyed, like that he's been in, like Cowboys and Aliens with Daniel Craig, even playing uh, Branch Rickey in the Chadwick Boseman biography baseball film. Yeah, when Chadwick Boseman played Jackie Robinson called 42. I do like the movie Ender's Game. And of course, Harrison, Harrison Ford did make his debut as, um, he had, he had his debut in the second Anchorman. <laughs> and of course, Harrison Ford is going to be taking on his Thunderbolt Ross for the fourth Captain America film and the Thunderbolts film. But anyway, guys, if you guys liked the way you saw, make sure you click like and subscribe.
leave a comment down below. And if you're excited for both Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 and Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny, let me know in the comments and join my Discord fan server in the description. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.